Good evening, I'm Tiro, and let's play Animal Crossing. And I've had a, I won't say a bad night of recording, but I don't feel like thinking. So I think I'm just going to play a normal game of Animal Crossing and uh, self-narrate it. Wait a minute. Can I get the same fossil twice? Oh, why can't I complete my Stegosaurus? No, I don't want that. Oh well. Normal thing in Animal Crossing is open your mail and read it. Although the only thing I care about is uh, fossils. <coughs> Which I find very annoying because there's always five fossils per day that you can dig up, but they only evaluate three. Because it seems a mailbox can only send you five letters at a time. So two of the fossils get eaten up by Tom Nook in his stupid advertising. And um, the HR House Foundation evaluating your stuff. And in the normal day of Animal Crossing, after you check your mail, you go to Tom Nook and see what he has. Basically, I don't want anything on the first floor. And what am I trying to do? Okay. I could use this little chess set. Because the scheme for the first floor, I'm going to try to have a nice, like, living music room. And I have a bunch of guitars, and I think a vibraphone. But this little coffee table and uh, couch would be nice. So we can pull up and sit back and uh, listen to the gyroids. Oh yeah, once I have the table, I can get a phonograph. Oh, do I run a ranch set? No. Never mind. Though it does look comfy. Eh, I'll just get it. Because I need the tickets anyway for the stupid raffle at the end of the month. And clearing my throat. Cover your... <coughs> and when is that? That's in three days, two days. Let's see, any spiffy shirts? No. Spiffy wallpaper? No. So let's leave. Oh, I forgot I need to sell the fossils. Yeah, I'll just leave. Yeah, thank you. Please come. Thank you. Come again. Can't do an Indian accent. So. Get rid of you. Yes, it comes up to a lot of money. Give it to me. You greedy, stingy little old tanuki. Yes, thank you. Come again. Let's see. What do I do? I guess I'll drop off my furniture, I'll grab my shovel, and go weeding, because I'm trying for the perfect town. And I guess I'll actually take this opportunity to explain the system for the perfect town in um, this version of Animal Crossings. I don't know if they have one for Wild World, and I don't know how they would have it for... Oh. Can't think. For the Wii version. Anything interesting? Chess table over here. Drop. Pick you up to mix it up together properly. I don't want that shirt. Drop you two and drop you. Okay. <clears throat> First qualities I will do for the perfect town are um, basically the nerfs. These are all things that will eliminate the perfect town standard. I know it doesn't make sense now, but it will later. If you have a piece of junk, as soon as it, like a uh, old shoe or boot that you uh, get from fishing, if you have any piece of that on the ground, you lose the perfect town status. So that means while you're in this session, you cannot actually use the garbage dump. If you put stuff in the garbage dump, you lose the status immediately. Second, every single, if you have three weeds or more on an acre, you lose the perfect town status, which is why it's very important that I'm weeding. Um, it seems that flowers are considered anti-weeds. For every one flower you have, you cancel out a weed, which is why I kind of have them, um, not only to beatify my town, but also to uh, kind of cover any weeds and such. And what else? Also, another tidbit. Wherever a weed grows, that's where a tree can grow properly. 
So, first thing to do to get a perfect town is to remove all weeds. And you can do that by using the wisp trick, or you should use wisp. If you have a lot of weeds and uh, you hang around from midnight to 6 a.m., wisp is around the town. You do his little uh, errand of catching little um, will o' the wisp, and he'll be able to pick up all your weeds. <clears throat> okay, and from that point, you have the criteria of trees for the perfect town. You need, I believe, anywhere from between 9 to 16 trees to have a proper acre. And when you have, I believe, 12, wait, is it a, yeah, if you have 12 to 12, 13, 14, 15. If you have 12 to 15 trees, you get an extra point for the acre. And so, if you have the normal range of trees, all the acres give you zero points. And if you have the area between uh, 12 to 15, you get one point for that acre. And then, if you happen to have a certain amount of proper trees in a special acre, which is basically the seashore and anything with a little symbol like this. So that means the police station, the well, the shop, the dump, the post office, and also the lake. If you have a proper tree amount in those areas, you get an extra point for it being a special acre. So on normal acres, you can have zero points or one point. And on special acres, you have one point or two points. And I believe you need, um, I believe, you need something like 10 or 15 points to get a perfect status. And more things about the perfect status. When you plant trees, they can't be touching each other. You have to be able to walk around completely like this. The only exception to the rules are when they are against the wall, which it's okay to use. And that's seven minutes. Don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I'll demonstrate another tip or useful tidbit about the game. As I said before, um, saving letters is supposed to actually be, you know, keeping, you know, memorable stuff for your playing experience. But here, I use it for storage. And so basically, I label for something like, you know, here's clothing, world icons, wallpaper, um, holiday, and, you know, um, other stuff. And I should probably fill these. So basically when you get stuff from like Wendell or let's say your jingle uh, set and stuff, I you know, you can um, keep it here and uh, not worry about it taking up uh, space in your basement or your inventory because it is small. I think it's like this game in um, Earthbound is the only one that have really tiny inventories. And so I think that's about it. That's my town's in pretty good shape, not a lot of weeds. So I don't know how many more days I will be until I get the golden axe, and I hope it's soon because I'm kind of getting tired. Or at least tired of impromptu. You can only say so much, especially without uh, people participating. Stunning golf bag. Great. So, yeah. Keep posting and have fun playing video games, I guess. Okay, yeah. Bye, see ya. Ouch. Okay, I'm going for real. See ya.